What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. I always have great days when there is drama with the Philadelphia Eagles. You know, it was funny because, you know, I go in, I check out Dan Salio's show. I, you know, I do because, I, you know, I'm part of the show. I'm literally going through and getting a little ammunition and stuff and using their own words against them. For example, let me give you an example here. Hmm. Why? Doesn't it seem that the Eagles took a shit on Jalen? And the owner and GM did. <laughs> the owner, the GM, <laughs> oh. and the head coach took a shit on their quarterback. Why? That's not the kind of attitude and environment I want to go into training camp. Yeah. So, Philly 500 was in denial yesterday. Today, he's kind of back-talking, double-talking. You know, I wish I had the clip of him saying, I don't understand the calculations of the calculations of the calculations of this, that, because I'm not a smart man. And the bullshit that he's trying to spin right now, that everything is okay, I love it. Let's get a little taste of the double-talk, because we got Hassan Reddick, where the Jets might be trying to avoid the deal. We got Jalen Hurts told the truth, and Nick Sirianni's getting protected by the the the, the uh, ownership. It, it, I just love it. Let, let, let's go to the tape. Jalen Hurts doesn't, in fact, like Nick Sirianni as head coach, oh. or he's not happy about him, or something. We know this now for sure, not because of what Jalen Hurts said at his press conference. It's because the Eagles leaked out that they were not happy and they leaked it out on it. purpose basically Ooh. spilling the beans to all their business yeah. See, ending any speculation oh, yeah. and yeah, really making you ask a lot of questions not just about Jalen Hurts but also about what happened to Hassan Reddick and why the need to keep Nick Sirianni protected at Ooh. all costs when he was the head coach of the most epic collapse in the history of the NFL. Well, maybe Ooh. history of the NFL. History of the Eagles, for sure. Mm -hmm. All right? Now, listen, I hate talking about this stuff. I hate it. I'd rather be talking yeah, about the do. roster. Mm -hmm. I'd rather be talking about camp battles, mm -hmm. possible trades, mm -hmm. ways to get better. But mm -hmm. we're stuck talking about this stuff because it keeps getting worse and worse. <laughs> and more oh, things are kind of coming out. <laughs> and I think that happens when you have things at the oh, end of the year, like it. what happened to the Eagles, and then you just avoid talking about it. Eventually, this stuff surfaces okay now i did a video yesterday or two days ago on jalen hurts and his comments that everybody was upset about uh to me i stand by what i said and i know that a lot of people don't agree with me most people don't agree with me but that's fine my interpretation mm -hmm. of what jalen hurts said was simply this he was not trying to trash nick sirianni publicly but uh -huh. he also wasn't trying to be a liar and because he didn't lie, the media has a problem with it. They're actually upset he's not lying enough. And then when he lies, they love it. And then what do they do? They'll protect it at all costs. They'll protect the lie, but they won't give you the truth. What? And to me, when Jalen Hurts responded to his, those comments, and we've read it and we've talked about it over and over again, uh, he, he wasn't trying to throw Nick Sirianni under the bus. He just wasn't trying to lie either. And because the Eagles knew what he really was thinking or really felt about uh, Nick Sirianni, they flipped out and they spilled the beans when they didn't have to. If they just would have kept quiet, the whole thing would have been talked about a few more days and it would have been over. Uh, it was just speculation for the most part. But after the Eagles coming out and saying what they said, there's no other way to interpret it as, yeah, in fact, he does have issues with Nick Sirianni as head coach. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying as a, a human have being or person, he Kelly may like Moore him too. personally, but obviously there's an issue. But the only reason that we can know that is because of what the Eagles said. Because of what the Eagles said, 
uh, the front office said and what they leaked out. The Eagles leaked it out. This is what they do. They leak it out. And you know how you know? That they How did. do we know? Is because when Howard how Eskin starts speaking, right, and talking, he is talking about how now, if Jalen Hurts isn't careful, the Eagles are going to Carson, Carson Wentz. Wentz him. Really? Oh. They're going to Carson Wentz him because why? He told his honest opinion oh. about something. He even he didn't even really tell his honest opinion. He just tried to avoid it. He tried to avoid it oh. without lying and tried to move on. I don't blame Jalen Hurts at all. I think it was a gotcha question, and I think however he answered it, this was going to be the narrative that was taken. The issue wow. that made it really bad was that the Eagles were leaking out that they, they, they were upset by his comment. Just if they would have let it die or said Jalen Hurts loves Nick Sirianni or whatever, they would it would have been over, okay? If they would have lied... Everybody, all the media would have ran to to basically protect their lie. Mind you, we're calling him Jalen Jalen Owens or T. O. Hertz. And so, to me, it's crazy. And let and let's just say this for argument's sake. So what? Let's say Jalen Hurts. Let's say Jalen Hurts did want to say, just for argument's sake. I don't think he did. I I just I don't think he. I think he knew he was in a gotcha question, and he was trying. To basically not be a liar, but um, not throw Nick Sirianni under the bus at the same time. Okay, but let's say he was just for argument's sake. Let's say Jalen Hurts was was saying, "Yeah, I don't like him. That's the way it is. Whatever." Let's just say it. Uh, let's say he did. Why that. is that a bad thing? I would much rather have my players be honest. I, as a fan who listens to these guys' press conference, mind you, do you remember that? Carson Wentz wasn't talking to his head coach for like half the season or or longer. Maybe that's the reason why they don't want to have, you know, problem between the coach and the the player. Maybe has a channel talking about all this stuff. I would rather them be honest and tell us the truth than lie. But you have media people literally on t on the radio talking about. Just lie. You should have lied. He should have lied and said something. That way we could move on. They want you to be lied to. They want you to be lied to. It's crazy to me. It's crazy. I would rather have okay. Jalen Hurts tell the truth. I would. All right. Enough of the double talk for my son, Philly 500. So while they have that going on with their quarterback and their coach, I know our, co our quarterback is not under contract and things, but see, he's not out there, you know, causing problems. He's not throwing Mike McCarthy or the team under the bus. You know what my quarterback is doing, Philly? My quarterback is actually at tight end U. Tight end U, talking to some of the best tight ends in football and working with them. Why? Because he works good with tight ends. To anticipate it. You're not the fastest guy, right? You just said that. You're running against the safety of the corner. How do I know to throw that ball? Unless you give me an indicator, that guy's going to beat you to the spot. So that's where that check uh, check is, right? And the deep over, all those things matter to me, right? I'm watching the defense. I'm watching the back. I'm not asking my eyes out there some offices that are. But you've got to learn that, right? You've got to go to that. You've got to get that freedom. First and foremost, it's learning your quarterback. I know it's a tight end. Y'all got them offense, every part of it. I would say I challenge you to the Run game, right? Pass protection, all that. The next step is truly knowing what your quarterback's thinking when he's throwing you the ball because you guys are a quarterback's best friend. We're, we're, we've got to throw the ball across the middle to the right to take advantage of our uh, matchups outside. If we're not on the same page as you, you don't have a shot. If you have a good tight end, you've got to tight end. Appreciate you, man. You know, maybe Jalen Hurts could be looking for a best friend right about now. I'm Mark Holmes, and I'm loving it, and I can't wait. Till tomorrow to stomp some roaches. I'll see you guys on the Dan Salio show tomorrow, Philly. <laughs>